What is up, my people? LP Third Gamer here. Today it's more Dragon Quest Builders. Last time, we fought the Golem, and victory was had. Cantlin is saved. The light has. Oh, well, you can't really see it from here. But the light has returned. The sky is all nice and blue. Man, I look awesome. But, uh, yeah, anyway. So here. I can't. I can stand on fire and not take damage. But yes, we've got things built up. In between episodes, uh, I ran around a bit and got this place up to max level 5. That's right. Maximum power. So, when we last left off, with the golem defeated, I'm gonna take one of those with me. I've got dirt. And I want bombs, but I'm only gonna take ten of them. And yeah. Got 51 torches, so that should be good. Thought I had a mattress somewhere. Hmm. Perhaps I do not have a bed that I can spare. Which is strange. Can I make one? I wonder. Um Yes, okay. So we'll make this. That's good. And we will make a straw door. Perfect. And then I'm going to put that away. Yes. I'm gonna put the cream away too. And I'm gonna tidy that up a bit. Alright. Because today we are setting off. We are going towards that little bright spot. Way over in the distance. Which is supposed to be a new place. A new beacon has come forth in the darkness. Oh, don't want to fall down. Ow. I'm I'm cool. I'm fine. It's just four damage. Four damage is fine. Hi there, friend. How you doing? Alright, this is where the dirt comes in handy. Uh, let's see. We'll place you right there. And we'll jump. And, hmm. Place. And that allows me to get over here. And we'll place that there. And that there. And that there. And then there. 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 Focus. Come on. Put you there, and put you there, and put you there. That looks good. Yeah, we'll put you there. Alright, well, we made it up here. There's another beacon. I'm guessing that's what that is. Oh, boy. Pretty sure there was a better way to go. Uh, that's gonna hurt. Oh, okay, that didn't that didn't actually hurt. I was expecting to damage. Get my my torch out so I can see things. What could it be? To bias, my child. The light you see before you is a portal to the next land. You must free from the Dragon Lord's curse. The items the knowledge and the strength that you, my child, have acquired in this place will not survive the journey. The moment you pass through this portal of light, you will lose everything. But to buy it, my child, should it still be your will to rid this world of darkness, I bid you step into this swelling vortex without fear or regret. And be safe. And the knowledge that I, my child, do watch over you. 
always. Okay, well, that was... I didn't expect that. Can't place that there. What? Why can't I... Ah, crap, fine. Ow. Enter. Are you sure you want to leave this land behind and travel to the next island? Yes. I'm gonna lose all my stuff. So, Tobias? Mm-hmm. My beard knew it. Yep. 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 You're leaving us. I had a feeling this might happen. Could you not just stay a little longer to help us finish rebuilding Cantlin to its former glory? No. Forget I said that. I was being selfish. Oh, he's there. Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't see him at first. Tobias, my boy, by my beard, you made me realize something. Restoring Caitlin to his former glory is not a matter of building walls and towers, but of building bonds of true friendship between our fellow townspeople. I'm sorry, I can't do it. No matter how grave the occasion, I just can't make a speech as soppy as that. Go on, my boy. Step into the light. There are many places in this world that need your help far more than we do. Ah, I almost forgot something very important. There's something that Pippa insisted I give you. Though you may lose everything else on your way through the portal, if you clutch this gift tight enough, I'm sure it'll make it to your destination. Farewell, Tobias. May we meet again someday. <laughs> Okay. Oh boy. Wow, we're going back to the future. Fiery and electrical stuff, too. Wow, alright. And we are. Oh. Stone furniture in Terra Incognita. Okay. Well, that's fun. Where am I going? The loading screen. Chapter 2 has been unlocked. What? An island in eastern Alfgard where a town once stood surrounded by a crystal clear, clear lake. Terra Incognita has been unlocked. I don't know what that means. A new island has been unlocked in Terra Incognita. Okay. New recipes have been unlocked in Terra Incognita. Incognita! An area beyond the borders of Alfgard where you can build freely and share your creations with other players. Well, that's fun. But we're going to Rimul Rim Rimuldar. 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 Yeah, sure, why not? My world is under construction. Oh, if they only knew. Oh boy, what are those things? Oh my. This seems bad. Oh, I have nothing. My child, you have awoken. This is the next place that cries out for your help. Tobias, the land of Rimoldar. Long, long ago, the island you see before you was home to a prosperous city surrounded by crystal clear water. But now all has been corrupted by this blighted mire. The few survivors live in constant fear of a dreadful disease. Here, my child, I offer this gift to you. What is it? Oh, it's a thing! Head towards the light you see before you to bias and plant this banner of hope in the center of the ruins. All may seem strange to you at first, my child. The people you encounter here, the monsters you do battle with, even the new creations that you build. But I know that you, my child, will soon find your feet in this afflicted frontier. Now go, Tobias, my child. Head towards the light. 
Okay, yeah, sure. Ooh, I have a hammer. My health has been completely reset. I have a hammer and a club. And my clothes. And I've got a banner of hope, and I have a plumberry. That must have been what she gave me. Okay, uh... Huh. Woo. Made it. Huh. Frog stool. Huh. Ow. I'm okay. Strong stocks. Okay, there doesn't seem a to be a lot around here. Blue goose as usual. Broken branches. Everything's gonna be first again. These stalks are probably important. And full of pink petals. By Jove. I do say. With a handful of pink petals and these strong stalks, surely you'll be able to construct things that were very constructive. Okay. Interesting. What is that? Is that like some kind of purifier to make the water not crappy? And there's my little building thing up there. And there's stuff down there to do where we can where I can sleep, but it's definitely gonna have to be, you know, fixed up a bit. Wow, this is pretty pretty interesting. Alright. I'm here. I shall plant this beacon of light and power. Calling forth all those who wish to live free. A warm and soothing light spreads all around. My child, the people who inhabit this blighted land have lost hope. They live in constant fear of the disease that stalks all who live here. Thanks to your efforts in Cantlin, my children are gradually regaining the power to build. However, the men and women of Rimmeldar have not the strength to resist this epidemic, and have all but surrendered to sickness. Mm. To my house, my child. It will not be long, my child, before the banner's light draws the survivors to this place, my child. You must build a new town here and purify this polluted land. Do what you must to eradicate the blight by which it has been gripped. And know, my child, that I do watch over you always. Okay. Wow, that was fast. You wasted no time, did you, friend? Hi there. I'm Tobias. I'm uh, from I'm from Cantlin. Talk. Heavens above! I never expected to find a poor ailing patient in a place like this. What's the matter with you, my lamb? Don't call me lamb. Does your stomach hurt, or your chest, or? Rubus forbid. Is there something wrong with your head? What's wrong with my head? What? There isn't anything the matter with you at all. But if that's the case, whatever are you doing in a place like this? Mercy me, you're the builder? The one with the power to create? Did you make this flag too? If you really are the builder, then the great shepherdess in the sky must have guided you here. Truly, the goddess does watch over us always. My name is Ellie. Please, my lamb. I told you stop calling me lamb. Help me save this blighted land. Um, okay, sure. Uh, can can we, like, you know... Hammer things first? Because, I mean, you got that there. We got this here. We need, you know, this... This is just not a good spot for dirt. We gotta clean up this dirt. Gotta clean up that stalks there. You know, your walls are kind of kind of messed up a little bit. We're going to have to work on that. Got to do some hammering here. Oh, got to get that taken care of. I mean, goodness. You guys got all these stalks everywhere. Boxes. Oh, crap. I didn't really mean to do that. I was just trying to destroy the box. Um, do 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 do
not want to displace anything, and, you know, you can't have the skelly mans around. I don't like skelly mans. No, they're bad. And, oh, yep, gotta get rid of these twigs. There, I just unsightly. There we go. That's good. We'll come over here. We got that and that. Okay, there we go. Got plenty of stuff here. Oh, we got one there. That's just not symmetrical. Can't have that. Oh, this whole wall has to go. Can't have that. Just can't have this whole wall. Not allowed. Mm -mm, nope. Gonna put this dirt right here so that I can... Come on. Ah, oh, dang it. There we go. See, now isn't that better? We cleared all that off, and then, you know, we can we can straighten it up, and we can just build... Uh, oh, man, I'm off kilter. Build a nice... Oh, my gosh. Crooked eye. It, it's, it's been bothering me a while. Pippa back in, in Cantlin, she, she tried to fix it. You know, she was making sandwiches that, you know, had some kind of magical ingredient in it, but, uh, you know, that's fine. All right. Hmm. See, this, this, I don't like this setup. This setup, mm -mm, no, we're gonna definitely have to work on this setup, yeah. Yeah, you see, I just, I don't like it. Nothing symmetrical, mm -mm, nope, mm -mm. nope, 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 just can't have it. We'll have to have dirt. I'm gonna have to have a lot of dirt. Conveniently, there's a wall right over here of dirt that I can get and get dirt. Which is good, because I'll need more dirt. And that... Tr we got all these trees growing everywhere? I mean... Why do we have trees? Goodbye, trees. And the skeletons. Really? We don't need skeletons. That's just uncalled for. I said goodbye, trees. Thank you. Where's the other one? Oh, okay, that clears this off nicely. See, this is looking better already. Monsters are already approaching. What are you? Sticky lick. You're some kind of creepy snail thing. Because I decided to actually take time and look around and say, you know what? There's rocks that need cleaning out. There's trees. I don't like them. They look creepy. So the game is like, oh, well, he's just standing there. Well, we can't have that now. He's gonna have to just die. Which is rude, game. Very rude. Very, very rude. So anyway, it looks like I'm gonna have to build a wall around this place to keep things off of it. Mm -hmm. Yep. Gonna have to get a chest going at some point because uh, we're gonna have problems with supplies. I can see that coming already. Mm -hmm. What can I build? Nothing. I can make a door and fencing. And a mattress and a simple bed with a chest. I can't make the coffer because I have none of that stuff. I can make a small table. Oh my gosh. And a potted plant. Oh, that's just precious. Carpenter's workstation. Mm hmm. Yep. I could make a stick. And that's it. That's all I can construct. I'm guessing it's going to be a lot like Cantlin, where I'm going to do quests for these people. Oh crap, we're going to have to go to sleep, aren't we? Uh oh. This is bad. Wow, it, it gets dark here pretty quick. And I need dirt. Bam! And we need some more dirt. Alright. Lots of dirt. Gonna have to make a door. Oh, and it's raining? It rains? Well, that's pretty impressive. Alright. Um, put you there. There, there, and there. Jump up here, look down and put you there. There we go. There we go. Yeah, there. And there, and there. I like it. I dig it. I do build and we're gonna make a door a straw door I made a door 
because we're gonna need to go to sleep. I build a basic bedroom. Goodbye. Leave her out there. She'll be fine. She'll be fine. She's from this area. She knows how to handle herself. It'll be all right. All right, well, here we are. That was our first night. She seems to like the, the little bedroom that I made. Well, I'm going to save the game, and then we'll get started on her questing next time. In the meantime, I'm going to be cleaning out that little hill over there of the dirt so that we can start our walls and get things started. So thank you so much for watching. I'm LP Third Gamer. This has been Dragon Quest Builders, and I'll see you guys next time.